Good evening, everyone. It is the 4th of November, and I'm preparing, preparing this for Saturday morning, the 5th of November, 2022. And this is going to be a short little devotional because, frankly, I am worn out tonight. I drove over 600 miles in the last 24 hours. So I'm really tired. I'm glad to be home. There's no place like home. Plus, I talked to my good friend Walt Stickle for two hours on the phone after I got home. So, tonight I want to just talk a little bit about a concept that you all might not have thought about or might not have crossed your mind, you know. Have you ever had an event happen in your life that was life-changing? Just go back in your life and think about it. Is there a single event that absolutely changed the whole way you look at the world? Now, I've said this before. I know this is old hat, but I had a single event happen in my life that changed my whole philosophy about life. Totally. Totally changed my whole philosophy about life. Changed my whole philosophy about God. It changed my whole philosophy about everything I'd been taught. And that was this. I know you get tired of hearing it, but I'm going to say it again. Here's what it was. The children being not yet born, not having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand. The first time I read that, I thought, what? I thought God loved everybody. I thought all that somebody has to do is make a decision to let Jesus in their heart. And everything's coming up roses. That put me on a mission. You know, I attended a, a, a conditional Primitive Baptist church one time, and the guy got up, and here's what he said. I'm on a mission to stamp out people who believe in election and reprobation. He's on a mission. So I had an opportunity that afternoon to speak at that same church. Of course, he was already gone. And I got up and said, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to promote election and predestination and the sovereignty of God in all things. I'm on a mission. Well, God can use a donkey to lie about Scripture and God can use a donkey to tell the truth about Scripture. He put a lying spirit in the mouth of a prophet and he is putting the truthful spirit in the mouth of some prophets. I mean I, I mean that just that that scripture worked on me for days. I remember this would go through my mind. Can this actually be true? Can God actually hate a person before they're born? That that went through my mind over and over and over. And then I met, ran into an old school Baptist and said, you're asking the wrong question. The question is, how can God love somebody before they're born? Knowing they're going to be born in and conceived into sin. How can he love someone like that? Well, doesn't the Bible say something to the effect there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus? There therefore is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, walk after the Spirit. Well, I'm going to 
I'm going to end this tonight because it's going to be short. Like I said, I'm tired, but I want to. There are many things I don't understand, but this one thing I do know. I know Christ who has the world in the palm of his hand. I may not know much about physics or chemistry. I may not know much about electronics or electricity. But I do know the one who stills the wind and calms the sea. I may not know Hebrew or Greek or quadratic equations, but I do know the one who gave me eternal salvation. I may not know important people or celebrities, but I do know the one who created them all as well as you and me. I may not know economics or how to get wealth, but I do know the one who grants spiritual health. I may not know false science and heliocentricity, but I do know the one who shed his blood on Calvary for me. I may not know Latin, French, or Portuguese, but I do know the one who made the stars and the trees. I may not know medicine, herbs, and plants, but I do know the one to me who forgiveness grants. So if you think you're wise in all worldly things, only Christ can bring knowledge the world cannot bring. The Spirit bloweth where it listeth, and no man knoweth the sound thereof. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit of God. God bless. Have a great day, and have a great weekend.